welcome to the channel, fellow Grape Blisters. It's a new year and a new channel. And a new style of channel, not a new channel. Same channel, just a couple of, you know, tweaks and everything. Today's guest is something different. So, have you ever had a, have you ever looked at a wine on a shelf and said, mm, I'm not too sure about that? Well, that's basically what we have right here. This is brought to us, this is a wine brought to us by Ice Cream Cellars. It's described as an espresso red wine speciality. Um, it is 11% alcohol and brought to us by none other than Ice Cream Cellars. So, uh, I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm curious. I, I really, uh, I really can't wait to try to kind of dive into this and see what this really tastes like because espresso red wine brought to you by a company that sounds like it's really really uh decadent i'm excited so without further ado let's dive into this to the wine cam So let's start this off with the eternal question. Sorry about the dribble on that pour. A little spill ain't ever hurt nobody, but it is sad to see your wine wasted. So first thing is wine. What do you smell like? Well, so for this part, I usually bring the glass closer to my nose to smell it. But with this wine, I can smell it from as soon as I open the bottle. This is coffee. <laughs> like, I, 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 I don't know how much caffeine's in this. I, I'm hoping not a lot, because I don't really do well with caffeine. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Let's see if we can find out a little bit more about this wine. Information for this winery is kind of hard to come by, so I went to the first choice, Google. Check the first couple of pages, nothing. So I went to my backup source, Bing. Absolutely nothing here as well. What the heck? So let's try the third, DuckDuckGo. Again, nothing. Let's try a throwback now. Metacrawler, yeah, you heard me, Metacrawler. Last choice, absolutely nothing. I think this winery no longer exists. Go on to the next one and say, wine, what do you taste like? Huh? 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 What do you taste like, wine? Uh, uh, uh. Wow. I have to be honest, <laughs> I was actually going into this with a very low bar set and this is actually not bad I it's it sounds horrible <laughs> believe you me I, I was a uh, I was definitely looking at this and going I don't think these two things go together especially from a company that's called ice cream sellers and I've tried a couple of quote-unquote ice cream flavored wines and they were not things to drink. They were, uh, at least not for adults. Maybe for kids who think they're adults. But this is actually pretty good. I'm not even a big fan of coffee and I'm enjoying this. So that, that's really a lot. I'm, I can't imagine if I actually liked coffee, I wish I would like this. I mean, you get that initial hit of of coffee flavor, but then it's quickly subdued by the wine, which gives you a, a more rather pleasing, like, I would say, not, not really oh, a little bit jammy, but it's a good jam. It's a very light jammy taste. It's not like a heavy, heavy jam taste. This, this is, I guess, jelly. Jelly, jelly. Jelly's the lighter version of jam. So, yeah. But wow, I'm about to put two scoops on for this, yeah. Wow, I, 
I am honestly astonished by how much I actually am pleased by this wine. I, it smells like, it smells like coffee. It's, it smells a lot like, it smells exactly like coffee, but it tastes pretty good. I taste, I mean, I don't, I'm not a fan of coffee again, sorry. To preface that, make like a disclaimer. <laughs> I'm not a fan of coffee, but this, this is, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. Interesting. So some things to note about this wine definitely want to serve it chilled because I can understand that this would definitely not taste good uh, room temperature. So if you have anything like an ice, if you have an ice bucket or a chiller, you definitely want to keep this in there because it seems to heat up pretty quickly. Like even in this, uh, I definitely shouldn't have used a stepless glass. This is my faux pas. But uh, yeah, because your body heat when you have stemless glass, stemless glasses are really good for deeper, richer wines that take longer to breathe and aerate. So the residual heat from your body by holding it like this actually heats up the wine, speeding up its process of interacting with the air and basically allowing it to aerate quicker. For a wine like this, you don't want that because it's supposed to be chill. It's supposed to, it doesn't really need, really need that air interaction in order to let it breathe. So a stem glass would work better for this. So at the end of the day, where does this wine fall on the grape list? Well, it's unusual combination of espresso, vanilla, and red wine. Definitely make it stand out, but in my book, uh, standing out isn't all you need. It needs to work well. And even though it does kind of work, uh, it's just not, it's just not my cup of tea. So on the grape list, this is gonna be number 22. And as always, right-handed in life, left-handed in wine. Cheers. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Liking is the thumbs up. And subscribe is that little bell down there. Just hit that and you'll be reminded when new episodes pop up.